Welcome back to MX versus ATV Supercross Encore. And lately, I've had quite a few people asking to see different things, which is awesome. It's really awesome. I want to put in the videos what a lot of you want to see. So I tried to do a few things at once. One person, maybe there's a couple people, wanted to see the 500 two-stroke. And this is the 500 two-stroke. And there was a couple other people that wanted to see a Suzuki. So we kind of just slapped some yellow plastics onto it and we're gonna call it good for now uh right now at least they haven't released anything else as far as actual real manufacturer skins to anything yet so this is kind of as close as we could get we could have put a black front fender on it which would look kind of cool but i figure let's just do all yellow yellow number plates everything and then one per person specifically wanted to see all black gear this is about as close as i could get there's a little bit of yellow with the goggles i could have changed but i thought the little bit of yellow if we're gonna ride a Suzuki anyways, or a bike similar to a Suzuki, uh, would look kind of cool. So what I want to do is I want to go check out the compound. I think we'll do a, a three-lap race. The laps are pretty long, so I th figured we'd do a three-lap race on the JS7 Pro Loop, and then maybe we'll see how long that goes, but maybe we'll jump onto the Supercross track and ride it at night as well. So we'll see how it goes. I don't know. Hopefully it goes well. Thank you so much for the support on the series. It really means a lot, and let's jump into the JS7 Pro Loop. Okay, so here we are, the JS7 Pro Loop. We're gonna jump right into this. We'll do all time three laps and we'll go against the 450s, even though we're on a 500, so we have an advantage. Uh, to me, I think the 500, it, it probably is the same as it was on the PS3, Xbox 360 versions, but it almost feels like it handles a little bit better. I have to tiptoe a little bit through some of the sections just because uh, turning it sometimes can be can be a little bit of a wild ride once in a while but we'll see what we can do hopefully we can get a podium and if we could get a good start and avoid all the carnage that would help a lot and we got a decent start eh, decent We are so lucky, he bumped us, but it was like the super light bump. I blow this corner a lot, let's try not to blow it. Over jumped. The AI struggles through this section, and there's another one. I'm not sure where, but they have trouble sometimes too. Let's try and take advantage of that a little bit. Oh my goodness, what, what? I'm not so sure we'd be getting back up after, after that one. I'm not sure. Third, not bad, not bad. Second is even better. Let's see if we can chase down first. Come on, 500 power. Mm -hmm. 
That was really ugly. I don't know. I couldn't bring the I couldn't like bring the bike back around for some reason. Alright, we're starting to pull a little bit of a gap. They suffer through that section. Let's try and make up time in this next one of these wicked whoops. A lot of time to be made up in that section. Starting to close the gap though a little bit. One more, what? Yeah, one more lap left. Come on, come on, last lap, last lap. Opening the gap back up, slow down. No! Let's just wait for the reset. This could get exciting yet. This could get exciting. I want the win. Oh, we got through that section like a beast. Still really, really close. He's really close. He's gonna come down to the end, maybe. Oh, I can't believe we pulled that win out. That's awesome. That was really awesome. Definitely had some. Ooh, yeah, there he was. Was that Gilmo Gilmore? I think that's Cody Gilmore. What? Yeah, go Gilmore, Hicks. Yeah, I don't know. We, it's weird with the 500. I think it handles quite a bit better. I'm not complaining about the bike whatsoever. Tons of power. 
I think it handles better than it did before. Uh, on some of those whips though, for some reason I was having trouble, my front end was rising a little bit much and then I was landing on the back tire. So I know that looked a little ugly, but yeah, what are you gonna do, I guess? Um, just kinda getting a little out of control. We ran off the track a few times and yeah, we're lucky. I'm lucky, I'm really lucky. Uh, I didn't think we were gonna get that on that last lap there. I thought we might be in a little trouble, but somehow we got it, really awesome. So there you go if you wanted to see it. That's the 500 two-stroke on the the two-stroke DLC that you can get. It's a lot of fun. And again, I think to me, maybe on the PlayStation version, maybe it's just the controller. I really don't know because I was using the, the 360 controller before. Maybe the DualShock controller feels different. I don't know. It just, the bike feels like it handles a bit better than it did before. Uh, it still slips and slides a lot like the 250s do, but I don't know if quite as bad, but that might again be because I'm tiptoeing through the corners some. Uh, if you wanted to see it, there's a similarities between the Suzuki there. It's not a Suzuki, it's the, Nord I th it's the Nordic bike and we slapped some yellow plastics on it and the black gear for anyone that wanted to see that. I think we'll save the the Knight Supercross, James Stewart Supercross track for a different video. We'll throw that and maybe the other track on one as well but there you go thank you so much for the support on this series it really means a lot that was a lot of fun i didn't think we were going to get that win but that was a ton of fun i really like the uh the 502 stroke i think it's definitely worth picking up it's it's different and it does have a ton of power you don't have to preload on a lot as you can see i was over jumping a lot just because i'm used to preloading on it and you if you can get a good run you don't have to preload on too many jumps at all actually with this 500 so thank you so much you guys and girls are absolutely amazing as always and until the next video Take it easy.